<laughs> cool. You know, I, I interview terribly. I get nervous. I, I stutter a lot. Actually. Yeah, you know, like a stranger coming up. I understand. It's a little intimidating. I don't get started. I guess I don't, I don't get a choice. I guess it's already started. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We'll Yeah. So, so my name's Cole, and I'm, I'm out here on River Market and in central Arkansas trying to raise awareness about how animals are treated. You like my hat, by the I way? Like that. Yeah. It's pretty great. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, what's your name? Alex. Alex. And uh, Alex, have you ever had any, like, pets or anything like oh, any yeah. animals like that? Yeah, uh, dogs, cats, birds, lizards. Uh, different rodents, a bit of everything. Cool. What What were your dog's name? Uh, Skip. Skip. Yeah. That's a good name for a dog. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> How would you feel if someone wanted to take Skip and turn them into a dog burger? A dog burger. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I would like that. Although I might be tempted to. I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> Probably not. You would be tempted to eat. Uh, Maybe another to dog. eat oh, skips so. like yeah, dead, I mean, dead like, body. I mean, am I starving? Maybe yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I would too. In a survival situation, sure. I might eat a dog. I know he was my pet, and I, you know, he had emotional attachments to him. Of course. Right, so. right. Aside from the emotional attachment, would you agree that animals like Skip are individuals, and they have their own thoughts, feelings, and personalities? Uh, yeah, I, I, I would say so. Okay. Would you say the same about cows, that they have their same thoughts, feelings, and personalities? I don't know. I don't know. I've never, I don't know any cows. Have, have you ever seen a cow in real life or visited one? I don't know if I have, actually. Yeah. They're, they're cool animals. I'm they're, sure. yeah, they're very mellow. They're basically like big dogs. Like, um, they like belly rubs and they wag their tails and they're just really fun animals to be around. Um, one, one cow I know is named Maisie, and she's blind. Uh, she stays at an animal sanctuary called Sunset Farms Animal Sanctuary in western Arkansas. And um, she, she can't, like, see at all, but she can hear. Sometimes she runs into trees. But she is just so friendly and nice. She weighs about seven, 800 pounds, but you can just walk up to her and, like, pet her and stuff. Jesus. Yeah. So... Back to the dog burgers, because that's what I want to talk about is like dog meat and dog bacon, which we refer to as barking on the street. And um, so you wouldn't want Skip to be turned into to barking if it wasn't a matter of survival, right? Yeah. And why is that? Uh, it's my dog. Yeah. So, so more the emotional attachment yeah. than the, so. the fact that it's, they're sentient? Correct. Do you think that the fact that they're sentient and have their own personalities played into why you're attached to them as animals? Like, as opposed to being attached to, like, a vegetable or something? Uh, well, vegetables are not living creatures. Uh, there you, dude, high five. Can you say, like, plants aren't living creatures to the camera? I mean, they're not living animals. Yeah. So they're not sentient. You would agree? No, I would agree on that. You are a lot smarter than most of the people we talk to. I appreciate it. My friends decided not to come here. So oh, okay, cool. Else. Well, Go Ken, it was great. What's your uh, YouTube channel? Um, Colburn Clark. I I'm try I'm, I try to be cognizant about how much meat I eat. Uh, I used yeah. to not care as much, but now I, I do recognize a lot of the abuses in the industry, uh, especially with how animals are treated. So I do try. I, do, I try to eat less. Meat. I should I try to keep, I try to try I try to eat less meat, but. Uh, yeah. But, I was I listening. Know, this is my opinion on it. Yeah. Just be aware of where it comes from and how much. Well, do you think, like, more. some murder would be okay or, like, some beating mm -hmm. your wife or some kicking a dog? I don't think that's a good comparison. Why not? Because it's worse almost to kill, like, a cow or a pig or a chicken, right, than it is to just, like, kick a cow or a pig or chicken. Because you can agree that kicking dogs is wrong, right? Sure. But... The pigs and the cows and the chickens, they don't just get kicked. They lose their lives, and they have their, like, heads cut off. Right, I got to go. Sorry, right, man. Take care.